The Oki front predominantly uses two gap techniques to control six gaps with three defensive linemen. In one gap Oki fronts, defensive coordinators can slant their linemen to create four three looks from the Oki alignment. To create the front, there's a zero technique over the center and two linemen head up or outside shade on the tackles as four or five techniques. That helps the defense eat up gaps and keeps free hitters at the second level. The Oki front, which is short for Oklahoma, is a subset of the 3-4 defense with the outside linebackers walked down as defensive ends, turning it into a 5-2. The Oki originated with Bud Wilkinson, who coached at the University of Oklahoma from 1947 to 1963. To identify the Oki front, look at the nose and the two ends. The nose will be in a zero or shade lined up head over over the center, and the two ends will be in five or four techniques over the offensive tackles. The Oki is an odd front and will have Sam and Will linebackers walked up to the line of scrimmage to help play force and funnel the run game back inside. The Sam drops into coverage in passing situations since he aligns to the formational strength. In the run game, he is responsible for two gapping the tight end. The two middle linebackers aligned over the guards need to make right the down defensive lineman if they get sealed into a gap. The Oki front is an effective third and long defense that allows defensive coordinators to drop eight players into coverage or work specialized blitzes and stuns from the outside linebackers at the line of scrimmage. With three defensive linemen controlling their gaps up front, that allows more players to drop into coverage if needed. Since linebackers are unprotected from the guards, defensive coordinators will stunt their front five to prevent guards from immediately climbing to the second level. This is partly by necessity, but it turns a vanilla look into something different from snap to snap. That keeps the two linebackers clean and can force the offensive linemen to turn their hips and let linebackers fill. As mentioned above, the Oki front leaves the linebackers unprotected if there's no use of slants or stunts. That allows the offensive line to work double teams inside and get free access to linebackers. Once blocked on the second level, there's potential for big gains in the run game. At the higher levels, the Oki defense is predominantly a two-gap defense where defensive linemen have to control two gaps. That takes special players that are physically strong enough to shed and occupy offensive linemen. The nose tackle in particular has to be able to withstand double teams and occupy blockers in the middle of the line to enable linebackers to fill. That means the three down linemen aren't typically penetrators. Instead, they build the line and shed into the play side gap. If teams don't have true two gap players, they'll often involve more slants and stunts into their defensive play calling to create a scheme that's more one gap than two gap. The Oki front occupies gaps up front with three true defensive linemen, which allows linebackers to plug and fill unimpeded. The Oki front takes stout tackles, but if the personnel is there, it's a difficult front to run against. It provides versatility with stunts and can drop eight into coverage in passing situations. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching all the way through. Make sure you drop a comment. Let me know someone, a scheme, idea, person who you want to see broken down here in the future. But I'm also releasing a speaking football course that goes over the basics of the language of football, what techniques are, what alignments are. So if you're interested in that, check out the link in the description.